honor of the Ohio State National Championship game tomorrow, I'm going to be making um, some protein puppy chow with the best uh, plant protein, Max Effort peanut butter chocolate. So Max Effort is a um, supplement company that's based out of Ohio. So chocolate peanut butter, the Buckeyes, it is a perfect combination and a perfect reason to make this puppy chow. So first, um, you're going to just melt two tablespoons of chocolate chips and two tablespoons of unsweetened almond milk um, in the microwave for about 15 seconds. Back from the microwave, mine was about 15 seconds. Obviously, it could be longer depending on your microwave and the wattage. So you're just gonna stir it up until it's all melted together. And then you're gonna take a quarter cup of powdered peanut butter. This is the organic PB Fit from Costco. You can use PB2 or any other powdered peanut butter. Obviously you could skip this both of these steps if you have higher fats in your diet or um, want to put like actual peanut butter then you would just need to melt the peanut butter and chocolate together but we're going the low fat version today so this smells like Reese's cups so there's the PB fit and the chocolate chips and almond milk mixed together and then you're gonna take a big cereal bowl and drop in three cups of basically any type of cereal. I had Crispix left over. You can use Rice Chex or any other type of cereal you have or would like. And then you're just gonna drop this in here and mix it around. All right, so once it's coated like this, you're going to drop it onto a baking sheet that is aluminum foil and sprayed, so easy cleanup. And then you're just gonna plop it on here and spread it around a little bit so it's not super, uh, so they're not all clumped together. And then you're gonna pop this in a uh, 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes to bake. Since the mixture was a little bit um, runnier because of the almond milk in the PB Fit, uh, that's why you have to bake it so it gets a little bit crispy so you don't have soggy cereal. All right, 10 minutes, 350 degrees. All right, so 10 minutes, it's been in the oven, crisping up. So we're gonna let this cool for about five or so minutes. And while we do that, we're going to blend up the uh, powdered sugar topping. So that is where the protein powder comes into play. So we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna use the Max Effort Muscle Vegan Protein. You can use um, their regular tri-blend protein as well, but I like the plant protein because um, I try to stay away from dairy. So we have 20 grams of that going in here, and we're gonna do a tablespoon of uh, just regular cocoa powder, and then three tablespoons of stevia. All right, so we're just gonna blend that up and then let that finish cooling. All right, so we have the blended Max Effort Protein, the cocoa powder, and stevia. You just put it in the blender for like 30 seconds to make it 
um, close to like a powdered sugar substance. And then we're gonna pop the um, puppy chow into a bag and then toss it with the protein powder. All right, so we have our protein puppy chow. I'm pulling up my fitness pal so I can tell you what the macros are. All right, so this is uh, four servings and then um, one, well, no, two servings of this um, in one bag. So it's gonna be four grams of fat, 26 and a half carb, and 10 and a half protein, about 170 calories for half that bag. So the Buckeye protein puppy chow from Max Effort, ready to go for the big game tomorrow. We'll do a taste test. That's perfect. If you guys like this content, please let me know, like, subscribe, and then if you're interested in getting your own Max Effort Muscle Protein, head over to maxeffortmuscle.com. You can do a build your own stack, which is what I do. Pick three or five items and they'll send it your way.